All right, guys, this is the water pressure sensor for a Valent Ecotech Pro 24, as well as other mo models on the range. But um, this is what you get. This is for £11. This is a genuine Valent part. And you can see the part number there. There we go. And it just comes with some clips here, a small grommet, that's about uh, a 10 millimeter grommet, and the sliding clips here. You can see this is a brand new one. This is where you connect the socket to connect to the motherboard. And this is the actual sensor here. Normally the old one, which we're gonna take out now, is filled with sludge, so it's very hard to detect the pressure. So it throws out an F75 error. And that's what we're gonna do now. And this is the Ecotech Pro 24. And what you do, you just unscrew the bolt at the end. Do not take it out, just unscrew it so there's enough for this to slide out. And this client of mine has a load of stuff he's gathered throughout the years of traveling. But if we can try to just take it out without, here we go. And then put this aside. Right, so now you will have to just put this down and what you do is, here we go. Right, so the pressure sensor is right behind this thing here. It's, it's right there, it's, it's right behind here, as you can see. If I just zoom in, right there. And we have to take this off, which I'm going to do now. All it is, is take it that screw off here and slide this off and then you will have perfect access to it. Also, make sure you drain your water so there's no water at all. Because this is a, a wet job. You don't want any leaks to drop onto your electrical. The best thing to do is cover this with a plastic bag, which I'm going to do now. As you can see, that's the sensor there, the old one. But I need to gain access to that. I'll have to take this off. And that's quite a simple. It's this thing here. There you go. Let's get your Phillips screwdriver and undo this screw at the top. There we go. And then slide it off here gently. And you can see the sensor is just right here. And there's a clip on the left here that we need to slide out and then you just pull it right off. So a little pin here, just slide it out there. And then you can just gently your old pressure sensor and you can see all the sludge inside and magnetite as well look at this this is pure magnetite metal based sludge and this is what's causing the errors on the boiler so we're just going to replace that by Lifting up this pin here, and we're going to pull this out gently. This is the electronics part. It's a little clip there. Just 
There we go. And there we go. I just cleaned it up, so obviously this is it. And this is the new one. This is a new one, you can see it's all clean, it's not filled with anything. Right, the new pressure sensor always comes with a little grommet here, you just slide in. It's good to lubricate this first, there we go, that's in. It comes with a pin as well, which slides in here, once it's in, we're just going to go ahead and put this in here there we go it's in and now we're gonna we're gonna slide this in from the side Using your left hand, and then what we do is we'll find this part. There we go. There we go. Pull in. Check if it's tightened. That should be enough there. And plug in. Yeah, electronics there we go make sure it's secure give you a torch check it all around make sure it's all nice and firm there we go that should be all right that's it now we we'll just put everything together and test the boiler. Okay, it's all fixed in now. I'll put this back on. Now we just have to repressurize the system and obviously do a last check for leaks. And I'll check in about three minutes to check if there's any error code. Okay, everything's repressured and you can see it's 1.8 at the moment, 1.6. So all right, so we're just going to turn on the hot water to see. There we go, you've got the tap symbol there. And the flame, 50 degrees, 51. No error codes. Perfect. That's how you fix your error.